I'm supposed to be recording, reading this Bible chapter and talking about it. But I couldn't find good lighting. So I'm trying to move the damn camera around so I can find better lighting. And the little knob thingy is not working in anywhere. So I'm like, oh, well, I don't even really want to record the damn video anyway. So I'm not about to do this. Because I don't have, the, I'm, I'd rather just read the Bible than to stop and then record. But I have to stop and I have to record because that's what God wants me to do. Now I'm getting anxious as you can clearly tell because I really don't want to sit here and record and be on camera. I feel like it's unauthentic. If it was authentic, then I would just be reading this Bible and getting the knowledge. But because I have to share it with you guys, I have to actually take the time out to record. Taking the time out to record means I have to make sure my makeup is on point. Make sure my wig is not lifting because then I'm going to get talked about. I have to make sure my lip gloss. I have to make sure everything is perfect. I have to make sure I'm sitting straight. I have to make sure I have a good angle. I have to make sure I have a good light. I have to be fucking self-conscious. And I don't want to be self-conscious. I just want to read the goddamn story. <clears throat> yes, this is a rant. Rant. Vant. This is a fucking vant. A vant rant. A venting rant. A vant. I am a little bit high. And I wish I was a lot of it high. But my anxiety is kicking in. <clears throat> but while I was kicking in, guy was like, I need you to record that. And I'm like, what? You want me to record me having a fake little anxiety attack about recording when everybody's just going to talk about me because that's all people want to do anyway. No one's going to say, oh, sis, I understand. I feel the same way because there's never support. I don't get support. All I get is negativity. I get the negative people who's hating on me or who's just watching me. The ones who I inspire but don't never say, oh my gosh, you inspired me. Thank you so much. I saw that video. It helped me. Like, I'm just here talking to myself in the car, rambling, and nobody's going to say, hey, girl, trust me, I've been there. You got this. Keep going, sis. I don't get that kind of love. I get the people who be like, damn, she doing that. But I'm not going to tell her because she already get enough love from the fucking people that's in their head. Because nobody gives it to me. But nobody gives it to me. So y'all want me to record for people like that. And then this is when my anxiety kicks in. And this is when I have... I start hearing like... <clears throat> like the voices of anxiety. But... <clears throat> and they're just telling me all this mean stuff. And I'm like, damn, y'all should like really shut up. Because everything they're saying may be true, but I really don't want to hear it right now. And then I'm able to calm myself down because I was clearly having a little panic attack on camera. It's so embarrassing, but whatever. So now that I'm... <clears throat> Now that I'm taking the moment to calm my behind down, I'm able to get the voices of anxiety away. And I'm able to hear the voices of not anxiety. It's like the calm voices. Because I always hear voices in my head. But now I can hear the calm voices. And they're like, it's okay. You know what I mean? Like, it happens. I just gotta find a way to calm myself down. Because I do not need recognition. I just have to do God's work. And God's work is for me to create a new page that's going to attract new energy. And these people are going to know that I'm not perfect and that I don't know how to do my wig and my makeup. And I'm learning and I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. And I'm growing. And you can watch me grow or you can let me go. Watch me grow or let me go. Or you can visit 
my website, letitgrow.com, where I would teach you how to calm down from an anxiety attack like I just had on fucking camera. And although I'm not going to go back to what brought me here, I hate being on camera. And then God's like, hey, I need you to start a new career and I need you to like document your whole life on camera. And I'm like, God, what? Why would you do that to me? Like, that didn't even sound fair. Like, I wanted to be an author. I wanted to be like, like, I keep changing my name for a reason. Like, come on now, God. Why would you want me to be popular? I don't even like being popular. Like, that's gross. Ugh. Popularity is for the devil, in my opinion. I don't, I don't, I don't want it. And then God said, oh, that's what you have to do. <clears throat> And, like, who argues with God? Like, that's not even smart. So, it's like, I don't like it. And he know I don't like it. But I'm just going to do what he say. Because if I don't, then I'm going to die. And I'm going to have to come back here. And I can guarantee you one thing. <laughs> I will never come back to Earth. This, Y'all think it's funny when y'all say Earth is ghetto. This is, this is trash. Like, oh, this is the hood. Like, seriously. 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 I absolutely despise humans and earth and I feel like I must have been some type of spoiled rich alien or some shit and I got kicked out of boarding school or something and got sent here like oh you're not gonna make it in boarding school huh huh okay I'm gonna send your ass to earth because earth humbled the fuck out of me like I'm gonna go back to space and I'm like oh yes ma'am no ma'am y'all want me to clean this because all I do on earth is clean and fix shit so I'm I'm definitely gonna go back to space and get my shit together like I am sorry like, I apologize I apologize come get me because I fucking hate it here I might be rambling because I'm a little high but if you're watching this, you're high or you like high people, so. I just really hate being around humans. And then for God to say that my new career is for me to be in the public eye. It's like really, it's frustrating. Like I get it, I'm cute. I look the part. I definitely look the part, so I get it. But like my mentality does not fit the part. Like, I'm way too strong, independent black woman mentality. But I'm also, like, what they would call a pick me. Because I feel like these bitches be attacking men. Like, y'all need to learn the difference between a nigga and a man. A bitch and a woman. So, hating ass bitches would call me. I mean, excuse me. Women of a lower caliber would try to label me as a woman of their caliber. And sometimes I'm a, I allow it. So I, I wouldn't fit in. Like, I don't know who I would fit in with. Because I like, I would hang out with the older people but then the older women think I want their man, and I don't want their man. And the men think I want them, and I don't want them. And everybody think that I'm doing it on purpose, and I don't know what I'm doing because I don't want anybody. I don't have any social skills. I am on the spectrum, literally on the spectrum. I'm just smart, but I'm still on the spectrum. And I, I was a stay-at-home mom in my 20s, so now I'm literally in my 30s I look like I'm in my teens I look like I'm in my teens and I have the experience of a 20 year old something woman and I have the knowledge of a fucking 50 year old woman where am I supposed to go who am I supposed to hang with who's gonna protect me in the industry 
what happens if I blow up? Like all these thoughts, like everybody knows the Illuminati is real. I don't know what they look like. I don't understand. I'm not going to no party because I don't know who party is safe. I definitely would have went to that all white party. Now I know I could never go to that all white party. Because I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, everybody's going to be there. I can just sell my personality and everybody's going to love me. And I'm going to walk away with a lot of business cards. And no, I'm walking away with a lot of fucking business cards. But it ain't the business that I'm thinking I'm signing up for. But I'm thinking I'm signing up for this. And they thinking I know I'm signing up for that. When I don't know, I'm thinking I'm signing up for this. Because I'm on the spectrum and I don't have social skills. Well, that's why I don't have social skills because I'm on the spectrum. But... And I'm also an asshole because I'm on the spectrum and I don't understand. And I'm blunt. I'm brutally honest. Like, I have so many positive flaws that I just wouldn't fit into the world. I'm not accepted because I'm going to call you out. I'm not going to kiss your ass. Why would I? That's nasty. Figuratively, physically. I don't know, Ely, whatever. I'm not the one you need to ask. Don't ask me no fucking questions because I'm going to tell you the truth. So now I'm the target. And I have to record myself and talk like that. And then I'm going to like not edit this and I'm just going to just put it out there because if I watch this later then I'm pretty sure I'll just be like, oh my gosh, here's another anxiety attack. Okay, so I was about to give myself one more plug before I end this. And then my anxiety kicked in. It says something else negative. I am training to be a psychologist. My first step will be, well, my first major step will be to be a licensed therapist. Therapist? still need therapists most therapists are therapists because we taught ourselves how to get through a situation or our trauma taught us how to get through we're therapists because we're strong enough to handle other people's trauma and help them get through it we're not perfect and we're still damaged there is not a person on God's green earth who hasn't endured some type of trauma. So please be more respectful to those of us who are going through the process of being therapists. And even if someone grew up with a closer to perfect childhood and young adulthood, they might have need to go to therapy to unpack the issues that they hear from their clients sometimes when i'm speaking to my therapist she takes her glasses off and she readjusts herself and you can tell she wants to cry i have some deep fucking pain and i have to tell that lady about it and she specializes in cptsd which is severe post-traumatic stress disorder. So that lady might have to go to therapy after talking to me sometimes. She might have to clear her schedule. I might be the last appointment or the only appointment of the day. She might have three or four clients just as severe as me, which I know she has one. So just between the two of us, that lady might be wanting to drink Hennessy every night. So she has to talk to her therapist to remind her to not hold on to our issues. Be nicer to the therapist. Stop talking shit about therapists. We're not perfect. Nobody is perfect. And y'all better leave, what's her name, Bree, Bria alone. I absolutely love her. And Bree literally 
while she was going through all that shit and y'all was talking about her that girl pulled me out of some goddamn deep dark holes fighting y'all taught me to fight so respect to all the therapists out there who's fighting and who has issues you can go on my website let us grow into dot com and I will show you how to get out of your own freaking head.